Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio. Please come check out the studio the next time you're in town. Also, don't forget you can now order my book, Yoga for Healthy Aging, co-written with Nina Zolotov, as well as t-shirts from my website, listed on your screen right now. Don't forget to order the t-shirts up a couple sizes. They tend to run a little bit small. So today I'm excited to share with you uh, a new prop that a friend of mine uh, turned me on to. Uh, this is a drumstick, an actual wooden drumstick. You can order them online. They're relatively inexpensive, but they're very sturdy and solid, and they can be a nice substitute for other props that you might use for certain poses in yoga. And I've also been using them for things like rolling on, on the body's tissue to create a little bit of action in the myofascial uh, tissues of the body. Today, what I'd like to share with you is a pose that I've shared with you before, which is the arms overhead pose, which we do dynamically and statically, but instead of using a strap between the hands where we pull outward, or two blocks between the hands, or one block where we press inward, we're gonna to get to use one prop to achieve both goals, which is to strengthen the inner arms and to strengthen the outer arms and back with the addition of the prop. When the arms float up and overhead, typically we're just getting a little bit more isometric uh, action generally in the shoulders. When we add in the prop, we get to turn on other muscle groups that we couldn't otherwise access. So what I like to do is, uh, and by the way, the psychedelic uh, wrap is actually some duct tape that my uh, friend Deborah McAtee, who was kind enough to send these to me, happened to decorate them with. So that's why these, they have this kind of psychedelic cool look to them. So what I'm going to have you do is take the ends of the, the drumstick in your hands and bring it down by your hips. So without pulling out or pushing in, as if this was one of those uh, retractable and expandable uh, lecture pointers, I want you to just hold it neutrally and just see what it feels like to inhale and lift it up as high as you can, and then exhale and bring it down smoothly. So try that again, without pulling out or pushing in, just neutrally holding the stick, inhale, take it up, and then exhale, bring it forward and down. Now I want you to pretend like it's how we use the strap, which is pulling outward on the strap. And as you maintain that outward tug, as if you were gonna make it longer, inhale the stick up, maintaining the tension the whole time, and then exhale the stick down as you maintain that outward pull. Let's do that again. Inhale, pulling side to side on the stick, and then exhale, bringing it down as you pull out side to side on the stick. One more time. Inhale, take it up, and then exhale, bring it forward and down. Now, what happens if we push in a little bit without letting the hand slide? We push in, we activate a whole different set of muscles. So let's do that, squeezing in as if you were gonna make it shorter. Let's inhale while squeezing inward on the drumstick, and then exhaling down as you continue to squeeze in here, in, inward. Inhale, take the stick up, and then exhale, bring it forward and down. The whole time I'm squeezing in towards the center of the drumstick. Last time, beautiful, good. All right, and then take a moment just to shake the hands out. So one last thing, of course, that was the dynamic variation of arms overhead. What if we do it statically and hold each side, each uh, a way of doing this for about three to four breaths? So let's try that. Pull outward on the drumstick, inhale up, and then continue to lift and pull outward for the next two to three breaths. Of course, you're keeping the legs active in uh, arms overhead pose, just as you normally would in mountain pose. And taking one more full breath in, on your next exhale, lower the arms down while still pulling outward. All right, let's go up and squeeze in upward. So I'm squeezing as I go up, and you want to maintain the squeeze as you follow three or four rounds of breath. Now, personally for me, this is harder squeezing in than pulling out, but you might find the opposite to be true. And then on your next exhale, bring the arms forward and down, and finally give both hands a little shakeout. So there you have one of our classic standing poses, arms overhead pose, done with a new prop, the drumstick, as a substitute for having two props, a strap and a block, and I find it very handy. I can actually stick this in my yoga bag. It doesn't take up much space, so you can roll it inside of your yoga mat. And I'm sure you're gonna discover lots of fun ways to play with these if you get some for yourself, and I hope to share more videos about this kind of work with you down the road. Don't forget you can follow me on my website, BaxterBell.com, also on my Facebook and YouTube channels that have the same name, Baxter Bell Yoga. You can also find longer practices on the practice channel at the website, YogaUOnline.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Until the next time, namaste.